In this video, let's see another standard integral. We are already taking up many standard integrals. And now I want to tell you that I have many things written over the board. But first, let's move to this section of the board, which has these three standard integrals. And I mean to say that if in any case we have these three standard integrals, then we will apply the methodology. That methodology will be understood in this question. So if you have the product of two continuous cos or two continuous sines or one sine, one cos, this methodology that we are going to study in this question will work. And if you have to integrate, you will have to first remember all the formulas that you know of the previous chapters in trigonometry, previous classes that you studied. So the sine formulas, the cos formulas must be known to you. In this question, which was written over here is evaluate sin x, sin 2x, sin 3x. That means there is product of three continuous signs and it is an important question asked in the previous examination 2002. So I have written the first three steps on the board. Let's see how to do it and then we continue further. So let us name this integral whatever is there. The integral the question has been copied let it be i. Let the integral be i. I know that there are three continuous signs. Now there is no formula that we know till date which is applicable to all three, three signs together. But I definitely know if I can take two two at a time, a pair at a time, that is importantly beneficial to us. So what I do is I take the first two signs that is sin x sin 2x and then sin 3x. And now I know that I have a formula 2 sin a sin b, right? So I divide by 2, multiply by 2 to apply the formula. Now, this whole is acting as a single unit, which has been made with the red ink. So 2 sin a sin b is acting as a single unit and 1 by 2 outside is there. Now, what is the formula of 2 sin a sin b? Already written on the board for you. It is minus cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So minus cos a plus b means x plus 2x that is 3x plus cos a minus b plus cos a minus b means x minus 2x which is minus x. So cos minus x. But what is cos of minus theta? It is nothing but cos theta. So it is nothing but cos x sin 3x as it is. So this step ends up here. And then in the next step, let's see what to do. Now after this step, let's see how to do it. It is nothing but 1 by 2. Then you have cos x minus cos 3x. So it can become cos x, then multiply by sin 3x, dx, integral I am writing. And next what it can become is like, we have cos 3x in negative. So minus cos 3x in negative sin 3x dx, integral. Right? 1 by 2 already outside. I can separate 1 by 2, 1 by 2, integral cos x sin 3x with respect to x minus 1 by 2 integral cos 3x sin 3x dx. Now what you can do is again I need to repeat by applying the formulas. Divide by 2, multiply by 2. Here also divide by 2, multiply by 2. What will happen? It will be 1 by 4 over here in the denominator. Then 2 sin a cos b. 2 sin a cos b formula I have to apply. It is nothing but sin a plus b. If I consider this as a, this as b, plus sin a minus b, right? So we have something like this in the integral. Then next is what? Minus 1 by 4 again, 2 sin theta cos theta because thetas are same. So it is nothing but sin 2 theta. Now after all of these steps, the last steps are left. Let's integrate it. So it is nothing but what? Let's see. 1 by 4 integral of sin 4x with respect to x that is dx. So 1 by 4 sin theta integration is what? See cos theta differentiation is minus sin theta. So sin theta integration is minus cos theta. So minus cos 4x and divided by 4 because of the angle also. Right? Then plus 1 by 4 again sin 2x is there, sin 2x integration is cos 2x in negative and divided by 2 again, right? 
last but not the least minus 1 by 4 so minus 1 by 4 sin 6x integration is minus cos 6x divided by 6 so now let's have certain things in clear in our mind so it is minus 1 by 16 cos 4x then minus cos 2x by 8 last but not the least plus cos 6x by 24 plus c and that is my answer to this question which is very important please keep it in mind the same methodology that we applied in this question will be applied to all these three types of integrals as well